The working group that I'm leading at Darndorf is concerned with the social and legal aspects of climate change. At first glance, you'd imagine that human rights and human rights law have very little to do with climate change. But on further analysis, when you reflect on it, what does climate change entail? Well, it looks as though it's going to cause disproportionate harm to the poor, and the poor particularly from developing countries, the very people who've had little, if any, responsibility for this climate change. So what the human rights idea can bring to climate change is this new idea of climate justice. Why should the generations of the already impoverished pay the price of the reckless behaviour of the powerful in the past? Europe has, it seems to me, a remarkable opportunity. The world knows that climate change is its biggest challenge. Every single state in the world knows that it cannot be addressed by individual states. And Europe stands for a realistic ideal, and that is regional cooperation to challenge this terrifying phenomenon. Terrifying because it appears uncontrollable. But regional, connected up, cooperative states operating together can both reduce the impact of climate change, control it, and perhaps, most importantly of all, make it seem manageable and give us a sense of hope, of control of our destiny back to us. Europe can do that. It's the most sophisticated region in the world in terms of state cooperation, and where Europe leads, other regions may follow.